Touching off of round material can be a little tricky. And this is where a lot of beginners make their mistakes is uh, right after they learn how to touch off tools, if somebody hands them a round part like this, they go straight down and they'll wiggle the paper back and forth. They'll touch it off and they'll be about maybe five to 10 thou small on their dimension. And then they'll wonder why. You might not be touching off of the high point of your tool. So what I like to do is I'll come down and I'll touch off like I normally do. Now the paper stopped moving and then I'll come up probably two or three clicks and then I'll start to spin my tool. And then if I feel it grab, like it just did, I'll come up two or three more clicks. Okay, it keeps grabbing, so I'm just gonna keep coming up until it runs fairly smoothly over the paper. Okay, now that it's running smooth over the paper, all I have to do is measure my paper thickness with a pair of mics and then I'll move down however thick that paper is. So I was probably five thou below the surface from where I thought I originally touched off at. So you gotta be very careful whenever you're touching off a round material, especially the, the less flutes you have. So if it was a two flute end mill, you might not be touching off of the actual tip of your flute. You might be touching off the center line of your part, which if, if you look at an end mill, it's not exactly perfectly flat, it's actually crowned. So you could be touching off five to 10 thou below the surface of your part. 